Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the void. I'm player one, and welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles. Yes, it's back. We took a break from it because we had the uh, the spooky time, the spooky Freddy. He was here, so we had to put something on the on hiatus. But it's back. It's back. And of course, it's coming back with a questing. Cuz... I feel like it. And there's probably stuff I can find to do. So, in between episodes, I did do a little, a little tiny stuff. Because we still had one more quest in the Central Factory. And I also wanted to finish off McConus Field's map. Because we didn't finish the map here. And it was because of this, the spent fuel tank, which in order to get to it, I just went to like a very high floor and jumped because this is a liquid pool that you can land in. Uh, there's a unique monster here. We'll get to that later. And the only other thing is I found where the quest is. There's the man right there here on the training ground roof. In order to get here, you had to go to the central lift, which I didn't know was right there. Uh, the central lift, which takes you on a trajectory like like that, and you have to mid mid uh what's the word mid journey. You have to quickly walk onto here, which then you go here, and it leads you to the training ground roof where this man is right there uh, let me see I got skill trees I got a skill for for that prevents reduction of accuracy when tension falls that sounds that sounds pretty good uh, but yeah finally found the man so I can cross off this quest venerable how how would how would you say that Focalore? Focalore? Focalore. I don't know. But I'm gonna fight him. You can bet your sweet bippy that I'm doing that. Alright, so let's get behind him and get started. I'm running. I'm running OG team. We'll see how this goes. No healer, except for me, kinda. But, uh, should be fine. This guy's level 64. We should be fine. Oh, Ryan. Ryan. I got you, buddy. Already half... dead. So... Oh, Vision. I'm going to use a chain attack right at this moment. Because that's going to kill my bro! No, I will not let you. You damn thing. Alright. Backslash. Beautiful. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I'm gonna hit you with a beam! Nice. Wild down! All right, nice. Shaker Edge. Okay. Uh. Uh. Magstorm. He has a spike, but I don't know what kind of spike. That makes me a little, little scared. Oh. It's a big ol' it's a big ol' hurt spike. I don't like that. Okay, don't topple him. Got, got it. He's almost dead though, so we should be fine. He's thrown flame, that's gonna miss him. <laughs> you fool. Goodbye. There we go. There's Mekon's, Mekon's station on the roof. Defeat the troop leader. You defeated the troop leader and reduced the Mekon's attack power. Very nice. You never stood a chance. We've definitely gotten stronger. All right, all right. 
And there we go. And there's nothing else on this roof, I'm pretty sure. And the central factory map does have a few more areas, but we can't get to them yet. So don't worry about that. All right. Venerable Focalore. Now the question is, uh, what do I do now? Because with the completion of that, I think we are once again caught up on quests. Except for Agneritha. However, since we did just fight a unique monster, that does bring to my attention. We haven't fought unique monsters in a while. Like, we fight them for quests, and when they're right on our path, but... There are quite, quite a bit in this game. We dealt with all the ones in Galahad and Sword Valley because we can't go back there, but we haven't dealt with ones in previous areas that we can most definitely deal with now, seeing as how we're about level 70. So I think we'll do that. Does that sound nice? Does that sound, does that sound nice and good? does to me so i'm gonna go all the way back to colony nine and let's see here how many can we take on we're about level 70 so it seems like it seems like we can take on five yeah seems like we can take on five so i'm gonna go in order of strength and we gotta go to Agora Shore, that long, long swim, which I won't put you through. I'll see you there. Out in the distance, you see the gentle mother Armu caring for her young. However, we are mean, and we're going to go kill her. Come here. Level 37, you poor, poor thing. Yeah, I don't even think they can hit us. Oh no, they can hit us, but it's not really doing much. So, sorry mother, but you are, you are gone. Goodbye. A yummy, yummy affinity coin for me. Now I will kill your others because they dare try to come to me they dare think they can do something and yet they cannot all right there we go there's that one next uh, da -da -da -da. Okay, so the next one, south side of Hazai Cape at night. Where is Hazai Cape again? Down there, down, down there. Okay, see you there. All right, we're here, impenetrable red rob, and it appears to be just a, a crabble? Yeah, just a crabble. All right, come here. He's level 38, a whole one level higher. And I don't think he has friends, so this will go even faster. Oh, and he's toppled. You fool. Oh, you fool. Man, that was... That was just mean. That was just mean. Alright, well there's that one. Penetrable Red Rob. 
next, 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 next. There's another one at Agora Shore. There's a couple at Cliff Lake. Where's Cliff Lake? Okay, there. So there's another one at Agora Shore, and there's one at Anti-Air Battery 2. So I guess we're staying in this section for another bit. Let's go to the far north end of Gore Shore. Oh yes, I remember you, gentle Rodriguez. However, level 40, I'm not afraid of you anymore. Come here, you big boy. I remember when I had to sneak past you for a quest item. You will not hunt me anymore. Do you even have any friends coming to your aid? I don't think you do. I think you're... You're already done. Goodbye. The giant frog is dead. And that makes me happy. Now then... Oh, there is one at shore north of anti-air battery 2. However, that one's level 73. Level 68. You know, there's no harm. There's no harm in uh, just seeing if we can. You know, that's only a couple levels away. How, how much of a difference could it really be? You know? All right, well, I'm here. I don't think we can beat this one. Flailing Bracken, he's level 73, but he's also got a lot of people over here. We can't lose. So, little... Oh, and they're missing. And Fiora's almost dead. I think we can do this one yet. I don't, I don't think we can. Man. A couple levels in this game really is just a lot. And I'm dead. Yeah, we can't, we can't deal with him yet. Not, not just yet. So what's the next one we can deal with? Oh, we got two more, and they're both at Cliff Lake. Let us make it nighttime. And let's go. Uh, over there. This, this is a first. So here's Shadeless Matrix. And there's Roguish Frangle. Have we ever had two unique monsters right near each other? This might be kind of interesting, even though they're level 39 and 44. This may be kind of interesting. Let's see here. Roguish Frangle. What is a Frangle? Oh. Oh. Yeah, nef never mind. Because Roguish Frangle was a big wimp. Alright, where's the other one? Where's the other one? Is it that one? Yes. Shadeless Matrix. He wasn't even disturbed because of us. Alright. 
I don't think that got his attention. This is the Monado's power. How do I get his attention? I mean, I can I can kill this Brog, but how do I get his attention? Man, remember way back at the beginning of the game when these areas were scary? Right, how how do I get your attention? Lore. There we go. All right, you. Big bats, huge bats. I've never seen a bat this big. Okay, that's kind of scary. But I, I still am winning, so it doesn't matter. Oh, unless you knock me off the cliff, don't do that. All right, come on, there we go. All right, Shadeless Matrix. So, we are now caught up on Unique Monsters for Colony 9. There's only the one left, and we cannot... We cannot fight him yet, so... That makes me sad. That, that does make me sad. Alright, let's see here. Can't do any at Tefra Cave. Those numbers... Those level numbers scare me a bit at Tefra Cave. But, uh, Bionis Leg. 81, 75, 90, 76, 78. Oh, 32. Okay, we can do one at Bionis Leg. So, yes, obviously it's not Immovable Gonzalez or Rotbart yet. However, you remember this place? Doxha Shrine. Come on out, buddy. Hello. Hello, Clifftop Bayard. I, would, I remember when I was scared of you, too. However, you're level 32. I am not scared of you anymore. You big old spider. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. That is the one, the one that we can do at the leg right now. The rest of them, we cannot, even though there's still six. There's still six, but we cannot do them yet. All right, let's see here. Oh, there's one at Colony 6, the only other one. And we haven't done it yet because it needed to be raining. Okay. All right. I can go and get get that. All right. We should definitely have gotten this guy earlier on. He's level 19. It's cool. He's a nebula, though. Graceful Holland. But he's level 19. I'm so sorry for you, bud. I am... I apologize. I... We really should have got you earlier on. But... And an affinity coin is an affinity coin, so I'm, I'm, I'm still gonna take it, so... You know, he's even like double defense up against us, but it's still just... Nothing. There we go. All right, and that was the only other one in Colony 6, so monsters there, done. Uh, we've already got all of them in the Ether Mine. Satoral Marsh. Oh. Oh. Why is there one that's level 108? We, we, we can't even get that high. The max for us is 99. Why can the enemies go higher? Oh yeah, we ain't, we ain't touching him for a good a good buy, y'all. All right, but uh, there are there are a couple we can get in Satora Marsh. There are a couple, so let me go get those. 
All right, so on the cl this little cliff southeast of the Silent Obelisk, we have Tumultuous Felix. I expect a few Ignas here in Satoru Marsh. So, come here with all your friends. You're already dead, okay. The Nebula lasted more than you, he was level 19. Yeah, goodbye. Good goodbye, Felix. That is so you, Ryan. Goodbye. <laughs> you two never change. Alright, there's that one. And then next. Seeing as how we are right right there. You do know there is one in the Exile Fortress. Another person that scared us. But I am most definitely not scared of him anymore. There he is, on his throne and his gaggle of goons. Reckless Godwin. The enemy's weak. Come on, then. Leave this fight. This one's like long. Oh yeah, this won't take long at all. Oh. Oh, how the great fall. Goodbye, Godwin. Now to deal with all your cronies. Oh. Goodbye. There we are. Good thing I'm here. No? The king of the fortress is finally dead. And that makes me very happy. Now there is one more person here we can get right now. And they are east of Igna territory. Which is that. So I just gotta... Well, I could probably do this. Alright, let's see if I can find him. Uh, I found him. He's just standing there in the middle of a plane. Swift, Zektol. The enemy's weak. He's level 28. This be this one's more. And I don't think he even has like a little pause with him or nothing. He's just he's just here. Man, you're kind of lonely, huh? Goodbye. That is so was, you, was so fast. I guess his name is Swift. <laughs> All right. Uh, can't do any in the Bionis interior. Magna Forest. No, no, we cannot, because those are all in the 90s. Frontier Village. And that's for a quest. Mm. Uh, Aerith C. When did I also clean up... Did I clean up unique monsters before? I don't even remember, because we can't do any in Aerith Sea. They're all in the 80s and 90s. All right, uh, High Antia Tomb, there's one, level 96. Valak Mountain. There's, there's quite a few in Valak Mountain. Okay, there we go. Almost done, almost done. So let's see here, we got one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six we can fight here. So let me go to the first one. All right, I found the first one. It is northeast of Ignea Hill, way back here in the corner. Has to be nighttime. Agile Barbatos. Level 47, and he has a spike. Of course, the enemy's weak. has to have a spike. Why not? What kind of spike? Oh. Okay, well, it's not a take damage when you attack it. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I don't know why we weren't taking damage at first. 
but already half dead, should be fine. Why did I not use Purge? I forgot Purge was a thing. He's enraged. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Alright, it's dead. Good. And just have to deal with the other ones. The stragglers. But we did it. There we go. Now the monsters are gonna have spikes. I hate spikes! I hate them. I hate them very much. Alright, next one. Alright, all the way down here from the sealed tower, we have a little leader right here with... Glorious Buer. Beware, beware me. Come here. This won't take long. We can definitely do this. This is the Manolo. Oh, oh, they're going to have a chain attack. And I'm binded. We still should be- oh, oh boy. And they missed. And he blocked it, and they missed. Okay, they're still goobers. Come here. There we go. Alright. There is another one. Alright. Next. Up is all right so on this bridge right here at night find hidden gamagin hidden nothing it's a big red bird how are you not gonna see that this should be easy the question is how do i get his attention hmm. i guess i just have to wait till i can lure him I gotta get up here, get up on his level. Hey, bud. Hey, buddy. Come here. All right. And that did nothing to us. Yeah, you probably should have stayed hidden, because you're not doing a damn thing. The only thing is, this chest might drop off the edge, and I may not be able to grab it. Okay, now we're good. Bunch of jokers. All right, there's that. So there is still three more. Okay, so in the lava cave, you would think it's only Exposure Wolfall, who's level 97. Uh, uh, but no, hidden amongst all these nebulas, Moonlight Paimon. Why, why are you hidden amongst these? Alright. I have to hope that he doesn't... Did... No, he didn't. Did you? Better not have. Okay, he's just, he's just having a grand old time over there. Please do not get aggroed. Why, why is just one of his cronies just another unique monster oh thanks oh Fiora don't die I 
don't want him to get near him. Not get near him. Alright, yes, yes, yes. Alright, we should be good. This one's this one's putting up a fight. Well, that's probably why it's putting up an attack when I we don't have any ether moves except for that. All right, goodbye, you goober. Moonlight Paimon. Or like Moonlight Paimon My Nuts. That, okay, that did not work. But there we go, there's that one. Two more. All right. In this little spot right next to the Nagul Waterfall, we come down from the Befalger Pedestal. We have a bunch of nebulas and vague barbus. Now, seeing as how ether enemies can be, I would rather have access to an ether move at uh, at most times. So let's see how this goes. Oh, and we're binded. Oh, and we're binded. Should be fine, dude. We're just, we're just binded. No, we're not gonna die, but. Ooh, nice, Fiora and Ryan are finally green. to get up my my cannon get up the cannon dang what are they getting hit by over there stop that all right and we're binded again. Let me just use a chain attack. Nebulas are annoying. Purge. I guess sword drive. Man, even when we're stronger than them, nebulas are still annoying. Didn't fully, didn't fully kill him, but he's almost done. Just die already! There we go. Now it's just bog standard nebulas. All right. No problem at all. There we are. I hate fighting nebulas. 
but we only have one more. And our final one we can do at Valak Mountain. We have to be at the Earl Crevasse at night when it's snowing. And right there in the distance, North Star Gujin. Come on then, and don't drop your guard. you big thing. Yeah, you, pff, higher level than the nebula, but just because it's not a nebula, it's way easier. And goodbye. There we go, Valak Mountain catched up. Okay. We got a skill. Fiora? Oh, no, they got affinity up, right. We now have 152 affinity coins in total. Uh, HP. Increases max HP, further increases max HP. HP up by 5%, HP up by 10%. Well, I mean, yeah, yeah, give me that. And, uh, loose next art sandwich when warrant of a vision. Sure, why not? All right, we got a good number of affinity coins. Why is it? Why does Shulk have one more coin than everyone else? What? Huh? That's weird. That's strange. Huh. Alright, well let me go down the list, see how many there are. I'm gonna be done for now, but let me see. Sword Valley's done, Galahad's done. Fallen Arm. There's two we can do there. Maconis Field, we have two, and those are the only other ones there. Central Factory, there are five, and we can't do one of them, but we need to level up a bit more to be able to do that. And then that's all the areas we've been to. All right. So we are basically basically caught up on unique monsters. Well, we are on Bionis. There are still a few on Maconis, but we will get those eventually. All right. This has been a nice comeback. You know, a lot of fighting, a lot of camaraderie. We are caught up on quests again. Of course, we still have a lot in Agniritha. We haven't accepted any, though. But we will accept them in a story episode. Don't you worry about that, because I don't think they will take that long to do. I don't think. Anyway, I've been player one, and I'll see you next time when we explore the Maconis capital of Agniratha. All right. Bye bye.